Hello and welcome everybody, Gizzy here with episode 4 of Hidden in the Jungle. I was a bit of a wimp at the end of last episode, running out of the jungle at the first sign of danger, I admit it. But we're going back there, uh, today. But progress around Camp Hernander here has been slow, and I want to get some other things done first. Let's start by building a bunch more of these paths. Yep, much better. I'm happy with that. But there's more work. We have a section of wall to keep the intruders out, but it just stops here. And well, I guess that's job number two. And once again, progress has been made. The wall now extends all the way into the forest. It's definitely not completely done, but we're getting there. After building that wall, I did run into one problem. And yeah, that's it. A wall. Uh, we need a gate. Problem solved, we have a gate. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. It's it's nothing fancy, but it, it, it does what it needs to do. And over here on the jungle side, we have a similar one. Uh, not much of the wall is done on this part, but we'll get to that later. But at least we have two gates now. Now there's just one more thing I want to do before we move on to bigger things, and that is to fill up this area here in the middle. Well, in my humble opinion, this is really starting to look a lot better, especially when all this wheat is fully grown. Right, it's time to move on to bigger things, villager things. I want to bring in a couple of villagers today. And yeah, yeah, those two, they're going to be the mommy and daddy of all the other villagers that are going to live here. So uh, let's clear out an area here and build our villager breeder. This is a classic infinite villager breeder where two farmers are going to be growing these carrots and giving each other carrots. And as long as they can pathfind to the beds inside there, uh, they make babies when they give each other carrots. And of course the babies, they try to go to the bed because what else are they going to do instead of, uh, well, you want to be jumping up and down, of course, all the time. Um, but unfortunately for them, um, they will fall into a big hole over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to be collecting the, the little babies downstairs that grow up and we have infinite villagers. If you want a full tutorial on this kind of villager breeder, um, I got it from Logical Geek Boy. I'm not sure if that's the original design, but could, could quite well be because uh, Logic uh, has a lot of these great uh, tutorials. But there's a link in the description on how you can build your own villager breeder like this. But with all of that work done, it's, it's now time to get our villagers. And we know there's a village uh, Little ways down the river, so let's get in the boat and go over there. The river was blocked in a couple of spots downstream, but hey, I'm Dutch, so not a big problem. After a little bit of water working, we were back on our way. Yep, one more distraction. Uh, just past my waterworks, I spotted that over there, a temple. And obviously we have to explore, so let's get in. And uh, we're going to do this the old school, um, let's call it uh, ethically challenged way. Yeah, we're just digging down and breaking all the stuff, whatever. Yep, no problem. All of this, all is mine. Yep, let's see what loot we find. Gunpowder, nice. And a saddle, that, that's actually good. Nothing too spectacular. Yeah, that's okay. Yep, we're going to grab all of that and then be on our way again. All right, we arrived at the village. So now it's just a matter of grabbing one of these guys and then heading back home. I've got my two villagers safely tucked away right there and then I've constructed a leaf path uh, all the way to the villager breeder. And the idea is now to use a piston to move these guys up there and then boat them in. Well, to be honest, that was surprisingly easy and these guys are already hard at work, so yep. Are they going to do it? No, not yet, not yet. They need more carrots, but soon we'll have babies. All that hard work made me sleepy. Uh, I think it's time to take a nap. And I'll just borrow a bed over here. Uh, wh wh where am I? What's happening? Wh what, what are those sounds? Oh my, what is this place? No, guys, uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, the, the, the network is definitely not part of my story. So, yeah, I, I do have to come here just to make sure that I get some resources, but... Man, do we have an ins in insane spawn um, in the middle of a fortress. So I think we 
just have to make this place a bit safer and grab a couple of resources and then head out and make sure that we come back once we're a little bit better prepared. But it'll be pretty easy to get uh, a blaze rods and stuff like that. So th that's a plus. Okay, we made it back in one piece and yeah, we got some good stuff. We even got some nylium so we can grow our own uh, fungus right here in the overworld. And I definitely also wanted to get some uh, mushrooms because I didn't have those yet. So yeah, a, a good trip and uh, of course some quartz because uh, yeah, maybe I want to do some redstone in the near future. Let's quickly check back here. Ooh, scary noises. Oh, we have a baby. Good. Uh, he'll have to stay there for a while. Uh, and we really can't put this off any longer. It now really is time to head back into the jungle. And I decided to make it an early day because today I want to find the place where Nando made his first stop. From his manuscript, we know it's quite a walk, even though we cleared some of the path leading there. But in the end, I want to make sure that I have some daylight when we get there. Hernando didn't stay too long in the camp they set up. Seems like they got spooked by jungle noises and left in a hurry. I wonder what we're going to find. Did anything even survive? Come to think of it, we have no clue when Hernando did come here. Sure, the manuscript looks old, but could be a year, could be 50 years or even 100. Nowhere does he date his notes. This must be it. And there's more left than I imagined. And it does look like they left in a hurry. They even left their cups. And some food, but I guess we're not going to be eating that. Well, the sun is up and the camp doesn't look all that bad by daylight, does it? Uh, I consider this uh, the first big success of uh, our expedition. It took quite a bit of effort to, to get here. We had to grow some mushrooms and then create a path to get here. And we had to clear a lot of jungle, but we got here in the end. To be honest, so far I haven't seen any of the dangers that Hernando wrote about. But you know what? I think I'll explore around the camp here uh, a little bit more and tell you about that next time. But uh, yeah, for now, this really has to be it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. It helps me out a bunch. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.